Welcome back to UFC Ultimate Insider presented by Harley Davidson. Bullying, it's an epidemic that hits home for many UFC athletes. And thankfully, some of the sport's biggest stars are taking an active role to educate and empower America's youth. One such ambassador is UFC middleweight Mark Munoz, who has built a reputation in Orange County as a man ready to stand tall for causes he believes in. We recently accompanied Munoz to a local high school as the Filipino wrecking machine delivered a powerful message. More than one out of four students in grades six through 12 are bullied. Bullying affects everyone. Those who are bullied, those who bully, and those who witness bullying. It is truly an epidemic that affects everyone, even UFC fighters like myself. In martial arts, we talk about respect. We talk about honor, we talk about dignity. We talk about the golden rule, you treat people the way you want to be treated. I got into martial arts because I was a victim of being bullied and I told my story to the Orange County Department of Education. And so then we created an anti-bullying campaign. The anti-bullying program started with providing some intervention services for students in Orange County. We wanted it to be impactful and most importantly reach high number of students. I grew up in a rough area. As I was walking home from school, I heard a lot of footsteps behind me. And as they caught up to me, they held me down. There were seven people on top of me beating me up for these shoes. After that experience, I was helpless and hopeless. And then there was this little Filipino cat about this size, right? He was like, hey, bro, you need to learn how to wrestle. I'm like, nah, bro, I'm good. And he goes, I bet you I could take you down in like 10 seconds. I'm like, yeah, right. And dude, two seconds flat, he shot in, boom, picked me up, slammed me on my back. And I was like, dude, where's that tight leotard, man? I'm aware of that. I hope to influence those that have been bullied, that they have a voice, and, and also influence those that are bullies to change their ways. There's a small percentage of you guys that are getting bullied, but there's an even more huge percentage of you guys that watch and are bystanders. If you don't do anything, you're participating in the bullying. I was bullied when in fourth grade, something I'll never forget. They would call me by names, but I knew that I wasn't that person, but I still remember like all those horrible words. When you see someone who is getting bullied, learn how to speak out. The bully then knows that the victim is not alone. Everyone's gonna go through battles at, at all different stages of their life. Um, and it's impressionable and it's influenceable as kids are at this age. You know, it's very important to show them that we don't condone bullying. It's about the relationships that you make with people that's gonna help propel you to who you wanna become and where you wanna be in life. I end up becoming an NC2A national champion, the first Filipino American to do that. So I'm actually thankful for that event that happened to me because if that event didn't happen, I wouldn't have wrestled and then I wouldn't have found mixed martial arts. Fighting out of Vallejo, California, Mark the Filipino Wrecking Machine, Munoz! We're here today to tell you guys, you guys can be changed. You guys can be changed on this campus. You guys can serve a better purpose here on campus and stand up for those that are being bullied. Don't look to all the stereotypes. Make sure you look past that and treat people the way you want to be treated. Guys, it was an absolute honor being here with you guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Well, Mark Munoz, certainly not the only UFC athlete who has been active in the fight against bullying. UFC welterweight champion George St. Pierre and his foundation are also supporting the cause. You can find out more at gspofficial.com, and you can also seek out additional resources anytime at stopbullying.gov.